So this is Geraldine McCorkman. So what's uh, what's your favourite book? Do you read quite a lot? Um, I don't read as much as I ought to because I, I tend to write more yeah. for the same reasons that, that people read. As, as a child I used to write uh, in preference to reading. I did read a lot but uh, I found that writing was the quickest way into my imagination. Yeah, so when did you start the writing? Eight. I suppose from eight onwards I was always, always writing stories. So when did you first, when did you write your first book? Like, when did you oh, I didn't get I didn't get published until I was 28. So it's a bit hard to say because are you a writer before you get? Yes, distinctly, you, you know, you're a writer before you get published. It's got nothing to do with getting published, has it? Um, but I, I suppose when did I start getting good at writing? You can't tell that either, yeah. <laughs> because until someone likes your book enough to publish yeah. it. Then, so, yeah. what were you like in school, like as a child? Were you quite like... Not very bright, terribly shy. Seems to be a common thing among writers. Yeah. So, do you like instead of talking, just expressing through writing? That's it exactly. Yeah. Yes, I was so shy as a child. But I couldn't get to the end of a spoken sentence. So, but if I wrote it down, I was okay. And of course, as soon as I started writing stories, I discovered that you become the person in the story. And the person in the story, can, you can invest with all of the things that you don't have yourself, like confidence and popularity and brains and, and bravery and all these things that you lack, as a, chiefly as a child. You, you lack um, resourcefulness and adventure and physical bravery. And, so it's, it's, it's ideal. So have you got any upcoming books? I have, in fact I've got another one published on, apart from uh, the positively the, the last performance, which is the one I've been talking yeah. about today. Um, I've got another book published on Thursday, called The Middle of Nowhere, which is, couldn't be more different. It's set in the middle of the red heart of Australia. <laughs> uh, so it's like kangaroos and agoraphobia. <laughs> so you said that there were quite a lot of ghosts haunting bar. Who do you think would haunt the festival? Now, Jane Austen might haunt the festival. Yes, I think that's that would be the one reason that you heard ghost might be lured back to Bath to haunt the festival. But apart from that, I'd love to think that Blade Duck would come on account that he hasn't, you know, stories. Yeah. Stories stretch back well over 3,000 years. And you don't get much conversation from a bunch of pigs. So I think King Blade Duck. Could, could pull up and uh, just listen for the sake of the stories. Yeah. But he, someone would have to teach him how to read. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be a challenge. So that was Geraldine McCorkran. We really enjoyed your presentation and we really loved your imaginative like story making. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.